Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. Today I'm going to be doing a film and player breakdown on Redskins draft pick Cameron Curl. I'm going to be going over his pros and cons and also going to be letting you guys know what his role will be on the Redskins defense this year. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. As you guys all know, the Redskins drafted Cameron Curl in the 2020 NFL draft in the seventh round. Cameron Curl played his college football at Arkansas where he was a three-year starter. Cameron Curl is about six foot one, 210 pounds, and he's 21 years old. So now going on to his pros and cons and some of his stats. So last year was his best year by far at Arkansas. In his junior year, he played in 11 games, had 46 total or 46 solo tackles, 76 total uh, tackles, had four tackles for a loss, two sacks, two interceptions, returned for 22 yards, two pass deflections, two uh, fumble recoveries, and a touchdown, and two forced fumbles. So he was an absolute beast and two sacks, if I didn't say that already. So he had his best year by far. He played some strong safety and also played cornerback. So we don't necessarily know what he's going to play with the Redskins, but it's going to be one of those two. But like I said, he absolutely balled out last year. And yeah, now let's go on to his pros and cons of his game. So you guys can read this here, but I'm going to be talking over it. So some of his pros, he is an absolute great run stopper for a cornerback and safety. He is absolutely really good. You guys will be able to see that in the film. He has really good pursuit of the ball carrier, and he is a very, very good tackler. Uh, he has really good length, is able to get some good pass deflections, is able to bat the ball away pretty easily, and he has very good size to cover tight ends, which is also very good. He's not the best against slot wide receivers and very quick wide receivers, but against bigger targets, he, he has the body for that. He's also pretty good in zone coverage, and he's going to be able to contribute on special teams because of his quickness and his versatility. Uh, right away he's going to be able to do that and because he's just such a hard hitter and he has good pursuit so he's going to be able to maybe play gunner and be able to tackle the other punt returner so that's what I see as his role at least uh, initially some of his cons are he doesn't take the best angles when tackling and sometimes he tries to go for the forced fumble instead of just tackling the guy and it's good to get turnovers but sometimes he's a little too over aggressive and ends up letting the guy get a few extra yards when he could have just tackled him earlier and then also he's like I said earlier he's not really quick enough to guard quick wide receivers and then He's not consistent in coverage, and he's not great in man coverage. He's a lot better in zone coverage. Like you guys see in his stats, he is very versatile. He can do a lot of stuff, so I think he's going to have a role on this team, whether that be on special teams and being a gunner or also playing on defense and lining up against tight ends or bigger wide receivers. I think he will have a role on this team. So, yeah, now let's get on to his highlights from Arkansas in his three years as a starter. Yo guys, real quick before we get into the film breakdown, I had to cut a little bit of the clips because of copyright issues, but besides that, it's pretty good, so let's get into the video. Okay, so now on to some of his highlights from Arkansas in his three years as a starter. I couldn't find full game film on YouTube that I could post, but we're just going to watch some of his highlights and analyze that. So let's get started. So right here, it's going to be a one of his plays. Uh, showing his run stopping ability you see him he has great pursuit of the quarterback right there we'll go back and uh, watch that real quick not the best angle right there but he is very very good at stopping the run and getting to the quarterback so right here you're going to see another great job by him he's a very good and guideline so he doesn't get around and even forces the ball out of the ball carrier's hand but it was out of bounds so it didn't count as a forced fumble but there's a great play by him so right here, you're going to see Cameron Curl, some pretty good coverage, and he's able to get a pick. You're going to see it right here, right there, right in front of the wide at it real quick. But that was a pretty easy pick, but it's good to know that he's able to get that, and he had good awareness to be there. The good thing about Cameron Curl is his best year was his last year in his junior year. A lot of people fade from their freshman to junior year, but he played a lot better in his junior year. Two interceptions, two forced fumbles, and a touchdown. So right here is a great, great play by him. Another great pursuit by him, which is really good. He's really good at getting to the ball carrier. So you're going to see a pitch by the quarterback, 
and Cameron Curl's able to get there, force the fumble, and get the ball, and he's able to run it in and break a couple tackles, actually, and get it into the end zone. We'll watch it back again. I'm pretty sure he forced the fumble. It's pretty hard to see uh, because of the camera angle, but let's go back. But yeah, it's very, very impressive by Cameron Curl. He's a very tough tackler. He it sometimes it hurts him. Like I said, sometimes the runner is able to get a few extra yards just because he's focusing on the forced fumble. But a lot of the times it works in his favor. But I think with coaching in the NFL, it's going to help him out a lot. He's going to need to get coached a lot. So here you see again, he's right at the ball right there right away and is able to, it's either him or 11, they're both going after the ball, but I think it is Cameron Curl right there. And yeah, again, another great run. And one of the player comps I saw for him was Trey Boston. I I think that's a pretty good comp for him. I don't know if he's going to be able to get to that level of playing, but it would be nice, especially for a seventh round pick. Okay, so now let's go on to another play right here. Again, a great, great interception. Very good tracking ability. A, not a great throw by the quarterback, but he was able to track the ball the whole way through and get the interception. Let's go back a little bit um, right here. He's able to track the ball the whole time and get the interception. So another great play, uh, play right there. And he played safety in his last couple years, but he did play cornerback in his freshman year and a little bit in his sophomore year. So we'll see what he ends up playing in the NFL because... I think it could be a combination of both, depending on the injuries. Okay, so let's go again. But yeah, he has very good ball tracking abilities. And right there, you see his length, and he's able to, uh, a great pass deflection there by him and uh, causes an incompletion. Here, again, great run-stopping ability. He is, he is very, very, very good at stopping the run. I think he's one of the better players I've seen at it, especially in the later rounds. Obviously, in the first few rounds, there's better corners at stopping the run, but he's one of the best corner slash safeties at stopping the run in this draft in the fourth through seventh round, in my opinion. His coverage does need a little work, but he's a very, very good tackler. So you see again here, uh, another great tackle by him. He does, Jerry Judy does juke him out a little bit, but he's able to stay on his feet and end up tackling him. So yeah, like I, like I said, we'll go back there. He, he is a little bit too aggressive sometimes, which does hurt him. But here, since there's four other guys there, he's able to get there. But if that was an open field, he would have been toast. So right here, here is a solo tackle by him. Great tackle in the open field. Here's a play against Joe Burrow and the LSU Tigers. A great pass deflection. He just swatted out there. He knew he wasn't going to uh, be able to pick it off. Great awareness by him there. And right here, um, he's able to make a pretty nice tackle again. But like I said, is going for the forced fumble and it ended up helping him out there but I think in the NFL level with a lot of uh, better stronger and quicker players it might end up hurting him but we'll see but you want a player like him that is able to force a lot of turnovers which is really really good so that's going to do it for the film breakdown I really do think there is a role for Cameron Curl on this team I think he will end up making the team and I think Initially, I think he's only going to contribute on special teams, maybe as a gunner. But I think as the season get, uh, goes on and as he gets better, I think he will be able to contribute on defense, maybe lining up against bigger targets like bigger wide receivers or tight ends. I think he's going to be able to do that. And maybe he will end up developing into a decent safety or at least be a good depth guy. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button. Let me know what you guys think about Cameron Curl. Do you guys think he's going to make the team? And if you do think he's going to make the team, what do you think his role on the Redskins will be in 2020 and beyond? So yeah, I think he's going to be a decent player. We'll see how he develops. I think he's a raw prospect. Uh, he was supposed to stay another year in college, but he decided to go in his junior year. Probably would have been a lot higher draft pick. 
but decided to go in his junior year. So yeah, again, thanks for watching. Turn those post notifications on if you guys are new. Subscribe if you're new. Join the channel membership. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace. Stay safe, guys.